Lyson 12, media review, Lyson 265 GSM Pro Photo Satin. Now this is a resin based photographic inkjet paper with a satin finish enabling social photographers to introduce digitally enhanced prints into an existing album of luster photographic prints. Ultra white base colour for clean whites and widest tonal range. Compatible with dye and pigment inks. Now my personal impression, this satin luster pearl finished paper is my all time favourite inkjet paper. I've used this paper as my main material in the license challenge where I attend road shows around the country attempting to beat or at least improve on the visiting photographer's best prints. With this paper I'm able to get closer to a true darkroom hand print in colour or black and white. It gives me the ability to create really punchy prints of superb tonality which actually can be compared to a quality darkroom print in a fair side by side comparison which I've tried on many occasions and I have to say I, I succeed. It's waterproof, it's instant dry and it has a super tough surface. Now as a caution I would add that I would only be happy to make these claims when using good quality brand ink sets with a professionally produced custom profile applied which let's face it you should all be using in any case. If you have any doubts on this issue you can always phone me or email me at john at marrot.com. Now let's have a look at what we've actually produced and I'd like to show you prints that I've only just produced. So you'll have to take my word for it that about a minute or so ago this print came out of our Epson R2400 using Lyson Photochrome ink. So this is a, this is a fresh print uh, using Lyson 265 GSM Pro Photo Satin. And as you can see we've got a superb white. I love to make sure we've got the extremities uh, available to us. We've got um, We've got a, a, a lovely detailing here in this woodwork and we've got very, very good clarity in these, uh, in these colours. I'm very keen on being able to produce lots and lots of subtleties of colour. So this is the, uh, a satin print which has only just been produced on our Epson R2400 and just of those of you that use uh, dye-based ink uh, we've just produced this print again just a couple of minutes ago using Lyson 265 GSM Pro Photo Satin and we're using this on the uh, using Photonic XG dye based inks on our Epson 1400 and again you can see a, a, a fantastic tonality uh, nice whites, uh, uh, good blacks we, 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 can, we can really do good things with this sort of paper We've got no bronzing whatsoever, and it's, a, it's got a lovely silky smooth finish. It actually feels like a true uh, a professional photographic print that's come out of a laboratory. Now let's, have, let's show you some other examples, because it's the, this is the fun bit. Now I often attend uh, functions where they're actually doing live capture of images there at the, at the road show, and we, we've just come back from a Nikon uh, event where we had models uh, um, being shown and the latest Nikon cameras were being used to capture the uh, to capture the models and here we have a very very difficult shot where we have a dark background here and we have these these black feathers coming through here as you can see but it's captured beautifully we can clearly clearly defined uh, shadow areas there and of course the highlights are superb as you can see. So this is, a, this is absolutely taken straight from the camera we do nothing in Photoshop we simply hand it over to a well sorted uh, printer and this is the result that we see here an absolutely superb shot. Let's see another one that we took at the same road show again live capture straight from a, a, a Nikon digital camera as you see here using available light absolutely beautiful great punchy blacks 
but with plenty of detail in the black here as you can see a, a really superb image uh, um, there's, there's no cheating here we've simply taken the image straight from the digital camera we take the chip out the back of the uh, at the back of the camera put it into the computer and we've used the image we haven't messed around in Photoshop we've simply allowed the printer to do its work and as you can see we've got a superb punchy print with all the detail preserved you know a nice professional series print now <coughs> Uh, uh, a, a general purpose commercial work, social work, as you can see here. Now, this is an image again taken straight from camera. We've got great highlights here because, of course, we've got a nice, uh, we've got a, a nice bright uh, white point of the paper, and of course, the the colours are superb, wonderful, wonderful greens, nice punchy uh, colours, absolutely uh, accurate to the original. Now what we do, what we what we do here in these reviews, we'll ask uh, uh, we'll ask Mike how he got on with uh, with the with the satin paper using an Epson uh, Pro 3800 printer with the brand Epson inks. And as you can see here, he's captured this 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 image beautifully. A very good black, uh, uh, no bronzing whatsoever. Uh, very good flesh tone here, plenty of detail, a nice punchy print. Now the settings that Mike recommends us to use uh, on his, uh, on his uh, Epson Pro 3800 using Epson inks for the 3800, for the, for the 3800 with, uh, uh, with the, let's have a look, what does he say down here with the satin, license 265 Pro Photo Satin, Epson Media set to premium semi-gloss, and a 1440 a 1440 DPI uh, output setting. Now a lot of our customers have copied Mike's settings, and they report that they're pretty well spot on. So you can actually use these papers with your uh, with your Epson inks with with total uh, with total confidence. <coughs> Now the sheen level here is is pretty well ideal for lifting the image to actually bring a uh, bring out the image without it being too distracting as far as as far as reflections are concerned. Uh, in short, in my opinion, this is absolutely the best satin inkjet paper that I have ever used. <coughs> 